So I just want to talk about my testimony and my encounter with Jesus that completely changed everything. So I went to this church and I didn't really want to go to church because I didn't think God was real. I was a practicing witch. I was doing all kinds of crazy stuff, but my best friend ended up getting saved and born again and set on fire for God. And I'm like, what is wrong with you? Like, what is happening to you? And it was her birthday and she wanted to go to church for her birthday. And I was like, are you serious? Like, you want to go to church? She was like, come on, you have to go. I've seen demons cast it out of people. And I'm just like, okay, I have to go now because obviously I'm intrigued. Like I knew demons were real. I've had so many like paranormal encounters and experiences. And I was just like, you know what? That's interesting. Okay. So I didn't even go to church for God, which is a sad thing. I went for demons. But anyways, when I got there, Instantly, I was irritated and agitated, and I felt, like, sick to my stomach. And I saw everybody just so excited and jumping around and dancing, and I was like, what is wrong with these people? Like, I was just put off. But the whole preaching was literally God speaking to me. My pastor was even like, I was going to preach a whole message, but God told me there's someone in this room that needs to hear this, so I'm going to preach about this. And it was all about the spirit of rejection life, and I always felt rejected. I had borderline personality disorder and one of the first things when you look it up is fear of rejection and that was my whole identity. I've always been rejected since a child so I instantly started crying my eyes out when he was preaching and I was just so blown away and I was like that's it God's real. So when I got home I threw my vape away and I was so addicted to my vape. I've literally been vaping for like eight years since the first one hit the stores. I was a sophomore in high school and I've been vaping every day since every five minutes, all day, every day. I was that girl that would literally have a tantrum if I lost my jewel. Like it was sad. And I just heard this voice like just telling me like, you don't need that anymore. And I was like, what? And I threw it away and I've never had a craving since. Anytime I tried to quit on my own, I would always get severe migraines and I just couldn't quit and I didn't really care to. Completely set free and delivered from vaping with my first encounter with the Holy Spirit. And I ended up pouring all my alcohol out. And just like that, I was just set free and delivered from alcohol and vaping just with one encounter with Jesus. And... My husband did not recognize me. He was not happy with me going to this church. And he was just like, what is going on with you? I thought you were not going to go back and now you want to go back. I'll do a part two.